For me, usually with making a track, I'll spend, I'd say actually between 10 to 20 minutes is where the first sort of part of the track gets made. Um, and then usually it drags on for a few more hours. I'd say if I'm really in the flow, I can get a track done from start to finish in about six hours. Um, if not, then sometimes it lasts for like months of me going back and revisiting little pieces and stuff. So yeah, it kind of just depends on the track itself. Hi, I'm Swimful and I'm going against the clock for Fact TV. Melody over the top.
Sun's now. left. Recording time reached on the screen. Seconds. 
done. Ten seconds left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a bit epic. <laughs> Cool. Do you want to play it out? <laughs> that was intense, man. And the screen, the screen record stopped working. <laughs> stopped working halfway through. Have a little listen. Um, it was quite funny actually, I did a few like practices just before, um, just like earlier on today. Every time I did it I found that 10 minutes wasn't quite enough, like I'd get sort of close to the end. Um, and for some reason this time I managed to get in like drums, bass, little melody motifs and some chord kind of stuff. And then arrange it and that's like 10 seconds left so it's, maybe I was just a bit more nervous so it's got, sort of gone a bit better but yeah, it's worked out surprisingly not too bad. Yeah, so the screen recording stopped working, um, which threw me off a little bit. Basically all I was doing during that period was I think I just finished the bass line, added in the tabla, and then um, I was just arranging it quickly. So usually when I'm making a track, I'll, I'll do it in um, the session view here just because I find it's easier if you see I've just got little ideas basically, little four bar ideas there, the light bar, little 16 bar idea here. And then I just like to arrange them out on the page so I can sort of flick through like different parts of the arrangement so I can have like an introduction, the first section of verse, like a pre-chorus, maybe a chorus or just different sections going. Um, and then I can just trigger them off using in, in real time. So <clears throat> I find that a lot easier, especially for these kind of time-based challenges um, as opposed to using like a sort of linear arrange view. Yeah. Uh, so some of the sounds I was using on this were um, some presets I've made myself before. Uh, this was a sound from a remix I did for uh, a guy called Henrik. Um, this little preset I made in Synthmaster. I also had a sound of like a, a Mellotron that was running through a lot of reverb and saturation. Uh, it was actually like a chain, uh, effects chain I made for a tune I did called Agony. Yeah, it's there if you want to steal it on the screen record. And then I also used uh, some sort of like pretty standard like 808 drum kit packs. Something I quickly made in Sub Boom Bass, just like a simple kind of detuned square wave thing. And yeah, a little tabla from the same little 808 pack as well. And that was basically it. Um, I wanted to do Against the Clock because um, I find that usually the tunes I make, like the basic idea is usually done within about 10 minutes anyway, so I thought I'd give it a crack. Um, yeah, not sure this is like the greatest thing of all time, but it's definitely the kind of thing that could become a tune. Yeah, so the track I made today, I think it's it's all right. Um, it could have some use. Maybe I'd send it to an MC, something like that. Yeah, I find usually the way I make music is I'll make about a hundred tracks, and then maybe like out of that, like five of them will be pretty good, and there'll be ones I end up using. Um, a lot of the other cutaway ones, maybe I'll do a quick arrange and just send out to different MCs or random people, see if they're interested in it. Uh, maybe send out to some DJs as well. Yeah, this is maybe one that I might finish it, might do a quick arrange and then send out to someone, but yeah, I don't think it's the best thing I've ever made, but it's a 10 minute challenge in it, so yeah.